Hey guys, just took delivery of this uh, feeder electric wheelbarrow. Just thought I'd do a quick review and show you all the bits and pieces and, uh, and we'll try and put it together. So uh, obviously this is the obvious bit, the wheelbarrow bucket or tray which goes on the top. Uh, probably the most interesting bit is this fantastically knobbly tyre which I'm quite excited about. And uh, this is like a proper job man, that is heavy. Probably like 10 kilos that. So um, it was a real struggle to lift the box up actually. And that's probably because of uh, this wheel which I guess is like a geared hub motor. Uh, could be could be direct drive, I don't know. Um, but I'll, we'll have a look at, have a, have a listen to that when it gets going and tell you what's what. And um, here is what looks to be, well what does it say on here, lithium battery pack. So uh, obviously there's a bit more to it than that. I think you've got the, the uh, battery pack in there but you've probably also got the motor controller as well because unless the controller is in the hub motor which is unusual. I uh, don't only know one type hub motor that does that. So you've got your three phase wires coming out of here, I expect. Um, the motor works on uh, these three wires here. Um, this one here, I'm not sure. That's got, we've got a connector here. I know they're all fairly self explanatory. I should imagine the chunky ones provide the drive, and these are the sensors and what's the other one and the other one with all the tiny little things in is for the throttle which we have here i've got one of these on my e-bike you uh, switch it on here and it tells you how full or empty why won't this phone ever focus there you go just let's see that is that over that side nope better over this side no, no, no. Yeah, so anyway, green light good, red light bad. That will clamp on the handlebars. We've got a female socket here, that goes in there, screws on. So that looks pretty good to be honest. Um, I think that goes underneath, but we'll see in a minute. And uh, we've got a nice big chunky switch on there for switching on and off. This light comes on when you switch it. And. Uh, the only slight niggle so far is I've got a European plug, but uh, I'm not really bothered about that to be honest. So I'll sort that out. Um, and I've got an adapter from our when we used to go on holidays before COVID. So um, yeah. Anyway, then we've got a framework under here, all the bits. We've got two handles, these little uh, plates on the bottom where the wheels bolt on, uh, the cross member which goes across at the back and then this uh, the support at the front which will go down between either side of the front wheel and then up to the uh, part front of the tray where it tips out just here uh, we've got a bag full of bits what we've got in here it's quite chunky bolts i mean these are big bolts for uh, for a wheelbarrow and i just bought another wheelbarrow a couple of weeks ago uh, which i'm having trouble pushing up and down a hill in our garden and uh, oh my word, look at these snazzy motorbike clips. They are disgusting. Anyway, there you go. And let's have a look at the instruction booklet if I can get that open. I'll just fast forward through this bit. Knowing me, once I start building it, I'll get a bit carried away. And uh, so we've got a uh, picture on the front. Now, I saw a complaint on the advert. Now on Amazon or somewhere like that. About um Jesus, you got it. <laughs> yeah, they weren't kidding. They weren't they weren't kidding. Someone said that there's no um good diagrams of uh how to put it together. And uh yeah they're right. I'll um, I'll put these instructions. What? I'll put these instructions uh, blown up on my uh, 
the blog post, which I'll do because uh, sometimes when you get the um, images, they don't come up very well on the videos. So uh, yeah, so I've seen complaints on other reviews about the lack of instructions. I mean, it doesn't really bother me too much, but um, you know, as you can see, there's nothing in here. It's certainly not like an IKEA instruction book. There's hardly anything in here, to be honest. A load of stuff telling you not to drive it off cliffs. Uh, <laughs> hilarious. The instructions are in French. And uh, yeah, so that's that's your instruction book. Nice. Oh well. They obviously put a lot of faith in their customers. So uh, anyway, off we go. Yeah, I mean, just look at that bolt size in there. They are like massive holes. Probably twice the diameter of the bolts used in my other wheelbarrow I just bought. Which is a, a Hamelin, by the way. They make a quality wheelbarrow. Um, anyway, cool. I'll, um, I'll put it together and then we'll have a go when it's finished. All right. So uh, I've got the framework together uh, so far. Um, these bits of the tube here are, uh, are split and the bottom bottom section slides in from underneath and uh, these needed opening out with uh, a pair of pliers um, which was uh, no problem. I've just done these up uh, loose at the moment because I might have to go backwards at some point as I'm going along and uh, this cross member that's the third bit to go in. I've noticed in the instructions um that let's have a go one that one with the blue squares so these confusing diagrams with the blue squares um they show you which bits to do first so the blue square is over the bit uh, which you have to assemble now i've heard that you know, from reviews online that if you um do it in the wrong order then you end up having to take bits about part to fit stuff in um, one thing I've noticed, if you look at the angle of this thing, how it is at the moment, I was thinking, well, I could probably use this without the back wheels because I'm not. Prob I don't. I most of the paths in our garden are just single paths, and I don't want to have to use something with a wide berth because it would chew up the grass either side of the path. Um, but as you can see, the uh, you'll probably need to put the wheels on because the angle is uh, a bit angled down towards the back at the moment but we'll see how we get on about that now one thing I just wanted to check was which way the wheel turns because I don't want to wire everything up and then find it goes backwards so um, I've got this uh, switched on you can see the green lights on there uh, there's a, a little button here you have to press I'm guessing from my e-bike I haven't done this yet um, and then we'll just uh, lift this up a bit so the thing's off the ground. Pull the trigger and see which way the wheel goes. Oh, it's quite heavy. So that's going backwards at the moment, so I need to turn that round. Which is a bit counterintuitive because that means the that little hole there where the wire comes out of the uh, wheel axle is going to be facing forwards, which I wouldn't have thought was probably the right way for it to go but hmm, there you go that's the way it is so uh, so the valve um, well hang on no let's do it with the wire so the wires the, where the wire comes out of the axle only comes out on one side there isn't doesn't come out on this side because on that side that side needs to be on the right hand side of the wheelbarrow when you're standing behind it so if you're standing behind the wheelbarrow, the um, the where the where the motor wire comes out, that needs to be on the right hand side uh, to, in order to get the wheel rotating in the right direction. So got the barrow together, started using it for its intended purpose. Um, not very impressed. Here's why. So, 
the tiny little wheels at the back I never intended to use those because you know on soft ground they're gonna be terrible and also I've got to go across a lot of scaffolding planks which aren't wide enough to take both the wheels so um, I was intending on just using it like a normal wheelbarrow with um, the thingy but that front wheel is rather larger than a normal front wheelbarrow wheel and what they've done in order to accommodate it they've moved the skip or top or whatever you call it the bit that holds all the stuff backwards so that puts like a lot more weight on your hands um, so that's not good I mean like it's extremely hard to lift up with a load of concrete in and I've been using a normal wheelbarrow for this exact purpose for probably a week now so I've got I can compare it accurately um, so that's annoying the handles are way too high up so when you do go to tip tip it it's you, you have to flip, switch your wrist around halfway up so so I was I was tipping this up I have to lift it like this to start off with and then at the last minute I have to go like put my hand underneath to get it to flip up and then the most annoying thing is because this bar is mounted so high up at the front here this nose doesn't hit the ground and so the wheelbarrow often just shoots off in front of you I nearly went in the trench a minute ago because this is mounted up so high you have to tip it up nearly vertically before this touches the ground and uh, and if you've got anything heavy in there well the wheelbarrow is just off you know so not very good so that's the absolute like un irrefutable flaws with this wheelbarrow which you can't really get around and um, just to cap it all off it's just stopped working I should have led with that I suppose but um, I got full charge it switched on I switched it on and off a couple of times and as you can see you can push the trigger and nothing happens so now I'm stuck with a load of concrete which I'm gonna to have to decant in another wheelbarrow and uh, yeah absolutely rubbish to be honest badly I mean I was yeah I suppose it was I was a bit suspicious for the price but then I thought well it's just a normal wheelbarrow with a few bits and bobs stuck on it so you know but it's not problem is it's not a normal wheelbarrow they should just got a normal wheelbarrow with all which is all balanced properly and had the nose in the right place and just based it on that I, I just don't understand what, what, what was going on really so yeah it's a bit disappointing but there you go um, nothing ventured nothing gained uh, hopefully I can send it back and uh, or maybe I'll just stick it... No, I won't put it on eBay. Don't want someone else lumbered with it. So yeah, crock of um, proverbial poop. Anyway, I'll uh, report back if anything changes. I've got to try and push this up a hill now. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs>